been watching some World Cup soccer. My fucking TV just went out in the hotel room, so I was watching France. They were up three, three to nothing. Toi, to uh, zero, however the fuck you say zero. And uh, I don't know. I, I get into the World Cup. I think it's fucking awesome. And I do think soccer is a beautiful sport. Uh, I just don't understand why my, my complaint that I've always had with that fucking sport. I don't give a shit about the lack of goals. Shit, I watch hockey. I still understand. I think it's awesome. I just don't understand why every fucking two minutes somebody collapses to the ground like they blew out their ACL and all they did was get kicked in the shin and they have a shin guard there. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't collapse to the ground, but I'm not a professional athlete. You watch the fucking UFC, those fucking maniacs kick the other fighter with that part of their leg. Now, I know they come in at an angle, but it's still their shin. Now, if they can toughen their leg up to do, to do that, you know, I don't understand why these guys... Can you make the fucking guard go all the way around their leg so we can keep the movement going? So I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. My idea of watching a sport is not every two minutes I see a man, a grown fucking man in the fetal position with a look on his face like he's going to start crying. And then somebody comes running up to another player, gets right in his face like he's going to punch him. And you're like, oh, great, there's going to be a fight. And then he takes out this yellow card and sticks it up in the air like he's in some Benny Hill sketch. Other than that, I love it. The scarves, the singing, people going absolutely fucking nuts when they score. I enjoy all of that. So I'll continue watching it. And this year is actually great, too, now that they, uh, they got it away from those crazy horns, whatever the fucking those things were called. Like a World Cup soccer, so I have no idea who's going to win that. All I know is I think that, you know, I think I've watched enough soccer to, tell, to know that, you know, the United States is definitely, without a doubt, going to make the finals this year. If not win the whole fucking thing. Okay. Look, I know they're not going to win it, but I just, I want them to win it so bad because it would piss off the world on two levels. One, everybody fucking hates us. So they're not going to enjoy us actually winning a true world championship where everybody was invited and we were the best. And then secondly, when like 40 people show up to the parade, you know, here in the United States, just to watch everybody having to wait another four years to wait for their team to win it and just see that we won something that we don't even give a fuck about, right? Like some hot chick that gets a fucking, you know, a Bentley for her fucking 16th birthday. Oh, my God, why did you get that color? I guess it's okay. You know, that would be us if we ever won the fucking World Cup. And I want it to happen. I really do. Um, anyways, the same way I wanted my team to draft Michael Sam and I wanted him to absolutely dominate because on two level levels, it would annoy fans. One that someone on my team was dominating their team. And then two, all the homophobes would be upset that this gay guy was just wreaking havoc. <laughs> all right. Oh, speaking of soccer. Dear Billy World Class, uh, I don't hate on soccer, even though I have a problem with it. There are some great things about the game. Sometimes I wish I played it because it automatically it would mean I'd have great hair and abs, apparently. Uh, what pros and cons would you say there are to the game of soccer? I think I already answered this. I, you know what? I just love how the whole world loves it and we don't love it. And then we have the nerve to sit there criticizing it rather than sitting back going, hey, maybe we're wrong about this. You know, like the whole world's on like the fucking metric system and, and we're, we're not, you know, ah, no, we're going to stick with the uh, the foot in the fucking yards. So uh, anyways, let's, um, let me hear what your complaints are. Um, let's see. He says uh, my biggest complaint other than the pratfalls and wussy injuries is that. Well, dude, well, I got to be honest with you. If somebody is running full speed and steps on your, your foot with a cleat, I mean, that's got to fucking hurt. I mean, that's up there. That's like taking a wrist off your laces. Um, is the fact that the refs control when the game ends. They don't end the game until a play is over, despite what the clock says. Uh, no, that's, that's the uh, penalty minutes. For when all those guys rolling around on the ground, to, to have you relate to it, that's like a snow day. If you get a snow day in, like, elementary school, you still have to go 180 days, so they just tack on an extra day. You were going to get out of school on June 20th. Now it's the 21st. That's how it works. They keep track of the time. He says, however, in a game yesterday, I watched 
uh, possession change twice and a yellow card being issued. Uh, he puts in parentheses, someone stubbed their toe, and the refs still didn't stop the game. You think NBA refs can mess with the game? The soccer refs got a few weapons of their own. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess they can. Well, I was, when I talk about that, I talk about the four major American sports, United States of America, what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I guess you can give people yellow cards, give them two yellow cards. But I feel like the crowd kind of keeps the ref in check where, you know, I, I, an NBA ref can sit a player and, uh, you know, I don't know. If it was a big enough game, maybe he'd get a couple of death threats. But, you know, in the soccer world, they'll actually carry, they'll actually kill you. They'll actually run out into the field and, like, fucking saw your head off. Um, there was something horrific that happened down in uh, South America. With this, like, 20-year-old ref. First of all, he had a knife on him, so you can tell him what kind of a fucking horrific refereeing job he knew he was going into. And he got into it with some guy, and and I don't know what happened, but he took out a knife and he stabbed this guy. And I believe the guy died. And then his brother, the dude who died's brother and everybody else ran onto the field, and they cut the dude's head off on the fucking soccer field. You know? And we flip out when Ron Artest goes into the crowd and throws 15 punches and doesn't connect once. Basketball players are the worst. They can't throw a fucking... You know what it is? It's because they were nine feet tall in the third grade. They didn't have to fight. Some of the shorter guys, the six foot ones, you know, they knew how to fight. But I swear to God, first of all, they throw punches like they're trying to throw somebody out from like the warning track. They do that overhand fucking... Eh, a lot of them, a lot of them, they, they, uh, I don't know what the deal is. That would be fucking scary, right? If you actually learned some martial arts. I know Kareem Abdul-Jabbar tried to act like he did in those Bruce Lee movies or maybe, uh, Wilt Chamberlain in, uh, Conan the Barbarian. Did he fight in that thing or did he just sort of sit on that fucking yak? I can't remember. Um, anyways, I don't, I don't really, uh. I'm not going to criticize. Uh, I'm not going to criticize World Cup soccer. The whole fucking world loves it. I understand that there's something wrong with me. And you know, I went to a game when I was over in England. Went to that Arsenal game, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was the shit. It was the shit. We just don't have enough time to get into it. You know, like I would say, if you if you're if you're into uh, sports in the United States, you're into football, and you're into basketball for the or you're into football, and you're into hockey. All right. And maybe you watch a little bit of baseball. That's how that's kind of where the pendulum is right now. But there's very few people that can actually watch hockey and basketball at the same. Like the the amount of space that would be taken up on your fucking DVR. 